Hi guys, so today I'm here to do one of the most requested videos that I've got on this channel since I started making videos and that is Irish names and I have wanted to do this video for so long and finally I finished reading this book and this book is called The A to Z of Irish Names for Children and Their Meanings and this is by far one of the best name books I have ever read. If you are looking to name a child and you want to name a child um, an Irish name because you are Irish or you have Irish heritage then I would definitely look at purchasing this book. This book goes into so much detail as you can see where I've highlighted that is just information on one single name. So not only does he talk about the meaning of the name, he talks about saints who have had that name and characters in Irish mythology and different stories about those characters. It is just such a fantastic book and that is where I found all of the names that I'm going to talk about today. So I'm going to start with the girls names and the first girls name that I have is Ashlyn and Ashlyn means dream or vision and I think this name is so so gorgeous. It has been anglicized to Ashlyn in this form which is actually number 206 in the US in terms of popularity and Ashlyn in this form which is number 276 in the US in terms of popularity and those forms are beautiful but I do prefer the original Irish spelling just because it is the original. The next name I have is Even, and I love the sound of this name. I love the original Irish spelling. It means delightful and radiant, and it is anglicized to Even. Then I have Aoife, and this name is sometimes compared to Eva. It's not quite the same pronunciation, but it's similar. It means beauty and in Irish legend Aoife was a warrior princess. Then I have the name Breed and Breed means strength or power. This name uh, has been anglicized to Bridget and the origin of this name actually comes from the Celtic goddess Brigantia and that dates back all the way to the second or third century AD. So this name the roots of this name are very, very old. Um, my best friend growing up was actually named Bridget and she was very, very Irish. Her family was um, very Irish. She had red hair and freckles and she played the fiddle. She was the cutest little thing. Um, and the name Bridget is number 453 in the US. Then I have the name Kira. And this is where Kira Knightley's name comes from. Um, Kira is actually very popular in the US. It means dark or black, and Kira with the K spelling is number 190 in the US. And various other forms of the name are also in the US top 1000. The next name I have is a little more exotic sounding and that is Cloda. And Cloda is actually the name of an Irish river and it means the clean one or the one who cleans. Then I have another sort of exotic sounding name and that is Dararca. And Dararca means the daughter of Ark and in Irish legend she was said to be the mother of 17 bishops as well as possibly the sister of St. Patrick. The next name I have is Enya. And Enya is so beautiful sounding. It looks beautiful. It has kind of a strange meaning. It means nut kernel. And in legends, Enya was the mother of the god Lu. Then I have the really cute name Mabla, and Mabla is the Irish form of the name Mabel, and it means lovable. The next name I have is so gorgeous, and that is Maeve, and Maeve means intoxicating. And in mythology, Maeve was said to have qualities such as strength and power over men, as well as being shrewd and wise and fierce and merciless. 
and it's been anglicized to this spelling of Maeve, which is actually number 529 in the US popularity charts. Then I have the name Neve, and I've actually seen this name used in North America with the traditional Irish spelling, which is kind of exciting that people are choosing to keep the traditional spelling and still use the name. And it means brightness or radiance. The next name I have is Searsha, and Searsha means freedom, and there's a famous actress um, named Searsha Ronan who uh, is kind of making this name a little popular, I think. Um, we might see this name gain some popularity in the U.S. because of this actress. The next name I have is Sinead, and Sinead is the Irish form of Janet, and it means God is gracious, and there's a famous singer uh, named Sinead O'Connor. Then I have Sorica, and Sorica is so strong sounding, I really love this name. It means bright or shining. There was a version of the name Sorsha that was used in the movie Willow in 1988, but I do prefer the Sorica pronunciation. And the last name I have is probably the most out there in terms of spelling and just being very, very exotic, and that is Lasarina. And Lasarina means flame of wine. It was the name of an Irish princess from the 13th century, as well as the name of an Irish singer-songwriter. And it has been anglicized to these two different spellings of Lasarina. So for boys, almost all of the 15 names I chose happen to have anglicized variants that are in the top 1,000 in the U.S. So I guess that means that there are a lot of people who are looking for Irish names to honor their Irish heritage, or they just really happen to like Irish names. The first name I have is not in the top 1,000, and that is Angus. And Angus is obviously anglicized to Angus. And it means true strength or true vigor. Angus was the Irish god of youth, and my parents actually considered this name for me if I had been a boy. The next name I have is Kian, and Kian means ancient. There were two different heroes named Kian in Irish mythology, and the anglicized version of this is with a K, and it's actually number 600 in the US, so it's a lot more popular than I thought it would be. Then there's Kieran, and Kieran is anglicized to Kieran with a K, and it means the little dark-haired one. There were two famous Irish saints with this name, and Kieran with a K is number 556 in the US. Then I have Deeglin, and Deeglin means full of goodness. St. Deeglin was an early Irish Christian who lived in Ireland in the 5th century, um, possibly even before St. Patrick lived there. And it's anglicized to Declan, which is a very um, popular name right now, and it's number 143 in the US. The next name I have is Douglas, and Douglas means dark stream. Douglas was the name of the first president of Ireland, who was born in 1860, and it's anglicized to Douglas, and it's number 572 in the US. Then I have Owen, and Owen means bread from the U, kind of an interesting meaning. And there were many saints with the name Owen, and it's of course anglicized to Owen, which is such a cute name and very, very popular in the US. It's number 38 in terms of popularity. The next name I have is Fionn, and Fionn was a very well-known character in Irish myths and legends. He was the leader of a group of famous warriors, and this name is anglicized to Finn, which is number 291 on the U.S. popularity charts. Then I have Neil, and Neil um, is a name about which the meaning is debated. It could possibly mean cloud, or passionate, 
or champion. And it's anglicized to Neil, and it's number 623 on the US popularity charts. The next name is a little bit more exotic, and that is Oshin. And Oshin means little fawn. In Irish myth, he was the son of the hero Fionn. And this name is sometimes used for girls as well, which I can see because it does kind of have a feminine sound, but it is mostly used for boys. The next name I have is Padraic, and Padraic means noble, and he is of course the patron saint of Ireland. He spent his life working to bring Christianity to Ireland, and his name is anglicized to Patrick, and St. Patrick Day is celebrated worldwide, and a fun fact that I found was that it was even celebrated um, in the International Space Station, so I thought that was kind of cool. And the anglicized form of Patrick is number 142 in the US. The next name I have is Ronan, and Ronan means little seal. There were 10 different saints with this name, and it's anglicized to Ronan, so not much difference. Um, and it's number 456 in the US. Then I have Seamus. This is the Irish variation of James which means the planter, and Seamus is number 839 in the US. And then Sean is the Irish version of John, and it means God is gracious, and there are several anglicized forms of this name. It's been anglicized to Sean with this spelling, which is number 144 in the US, and then Sean with this spelling is number 272 in the US, and I believe the name Shane actually comes from this name as well. And the last name I have is Tiernan, and Tiernan means Lord or Chief. Um, there were many medieval rulers with this name, considering the meaning means Lord or Chief. It's been anglicized to Tiernan, which is actually one of my personal favorite names. So those are just a few of the many wonderful and beautiful Irish names. If you're looking for more, I definitely encourage you to go check out that book. Um, I will put the information for it in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a very wonderful St. Patrick's Day, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.